Tell you what, in Texas, there's a gun in my purse. You're going to get after what I got, then I'm going to get after you. Amen. God, I like you. Well, tell me you won't like this hellfire. <laughs> All right, this is a little firebrand from Texas. And uh, what she has to say in, in the middle of this is quite a reeling about the uh, the nurses in the prison that were watching Epstein. Uh, this ought to, uh, this is an eye opener. This is something good. But boy, I tell you, boy, the spirit in this woman Boy, I tell you, <laughs> you. <laughs> oh boy, ten of these and we could take on a thousand. Yes, uh, yes, uh, this is a. If there was a frontier woman, if this was, if this is her. This is the kind of woman I'd want on the wagon train. Boy, okay, you're gonna like this one. Uh, you know, if you do, if you like it, you like it, if you care, share. Again, you can contribute. Uh, you can't do anything else, pray for me, and let's get into it, and I'll see you on the other side. I don't have facts, but hearsay is better than facts. Yeah. What in the <laughs> is wrong with young people? <laughs> You lost your mind? My children all know better. Yeah. I got one that every once in a while she'll get a little out of line and I said, don't start. Don't start. Because she sort of, her dad, her dad is a Republican. He, he's, a, he's a state judge in Texas. And every once in a while I'd all say, Rachel, don't start. I said, I'm going to get your daddy on your ass. <laughs> and I am so sick and tired. I said, they need to get rid, first of all, they need to drain Nancy Pelosi because she's crazy, demented, alcoholic, stupid ass. <laughs> Maxine Waters follow her, the f*** you bitch. The ragheaded bitch that married her brother and Ocasio-Cortez put them all in a goddamn boat, put a limited amount of gas in it, take them way the f*** out in the Atlantic and get where you can get. But don't come back here. Don't, don't hold and back then, now. Don't hold well, back. I don't I want you to hold what, back. I am not. I, I cannot wait until the one of the two jailers is coming forward. The female, the ones that they told to turn the cameras off. I worked in a maximum security prison as a nurse for three and a half years. They told them to turn the cameras off, and she said, "I'm gonna make it clear right now. My family's all military. They're gonna be protecting me, and I am not suicidal." She's an Afghanistan vet, and she said, I will come forward and tell the whole truth, but I'm going to be exonerated for what I for what I tell. You're not charging me with anything, because they're trying to, you know. They said, do you need security? She said, no, my family will take care of me. Yeah. She's in, kind of in hiding. She's, they don't, uh, her whole family's ex-military or military. She said, we don't need. I don't know what's the matter in all the damn snowflakes. My feelings are hurt. I tell my kids, I say, you say that one time, I'm going to slap right out of you. You tell me your feelings are hurt one time or you got offended, you better get the hell over it. Yeah, show me in the Constitution where it says anything about your feelings. No. No. Oh, yeah. No. They like I said, is he hurt. perfect? It, is But you know what? Unemployment is down. The stock market is through the ceiling. And all these other no ones are scared. No new wars. All these ones are scared yeah. that all the facts are going to come out. And and we've talked about this lots and lots. I think behind all this, he's actually generated this so that people can be called in and sworn in. And Democrats are shaking in their. Yep. I want them. I want them to all have to wear the pins before this is over. Senate, Senate does a trial. Yeah. They can spin anybody they want. And they have to come forward. Well, you yeah, know, remember what Hillary said. She says if he gets in, all our necks are in a noose. Yeah. They know. That's right. Okay. Sir, it was a pleasure. Oh, God bless. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. Yeah, well, 
kind of crazy old lady. And don't hold back. Oh, hell no. You know what? Oh, you get no filter. You don't need one. Nobody pays my damn bills but me. They're speaking my language, darling. I know. And I, I cannot wait. One lady said, she goes, I was scared to bring my Trump flag. I said, why? I said, we'll all be sitting out on the balcony with you waving it. Amen. I said, why should you be scared? So Amen. No flake, let them come on. Amen. I'll tell you what, in Texas, there's a gun in my purse. You're going to get after what I got, then I'm going to get after you. Amen. God, I like you. Merry Christmas, darling. <laughs> How was she? <laughs> I tell her, yeah, what I, I just loved her. Just, huh? Yeah, mess with me. Okay. Thanks for coming by. Hit the like button. You know, hit all those buttons. I'm going to put something under the kitty. And uh, remember, pray, 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 pray for me out there. I'm praying for you. See you on the street.